OK, so here we're asked to solve an exponential equation. Now, this one's a little tougher. We can look at this, and there's really not much we can do. We can't divide by e to the x or anything, because we have a binomial on the right side. OK, so what I'm going to do is get all the terms on one side and get this thing equal to 0. So I'll subtract. We get e to the 2x minus e to the x minus 6 equals 0. So looking at this thing, we're going to treat it like a quadratic. Basically, we're going to do a u substitution. If we let u equals e to the x, well then u squared will be e to the x squared. And then power to power, you multiply, so that's actually e to the 2x. So u squared is e to the 2x, u is e to the x. Now if we make that substitution, this is u squared minus u minus 6. So these two equations here are, are sort of equivalent. And we know how to solve this little quadratic. Not a problem. This one actually factors, right? u times u, 2 times 3, minus to get the negative 1, and a plus here. Looks good. So u plus 2 equals 0, or u minus 3 equals 0. u equals negative 2, or u equals 3, right? So there's two solutions for u. Thing is, we're not really solving for u, right? We're solving for x. So now what we're going to do is back substitute. We know u is e to the x. So e to the x has to equal negative 2, or e to the x has to equal 3, right? So back substituting what u actually is. Now I have two normal looking exponential equations. And we know how to solve these. So to solve these, certainly I would take the natural log of both sides. And natural log of e to the x is x equals natural log of 3. So there's one solution to the original. And then here, if I take the natural log of both sides, I'll have the natural log of negative 2. e to the x is never negative. So this one actually produces no solutions. And so we get that one solution, natural log of 3, to this kind of a little more difficult exponential equation.